Good morning, guys. It is an early Monday morning, 7.45. We're ready. We're heading out the door. We're going on a great day. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Oh my gosh. Okay, so the cinnamon broom is apparently very popular. I don't even know what people do with them. I think maybe for the, just the smell. I love the Trader Joe's flowers. That we're not allowed to bring. We're getting all of the fall today. Absolutely coming home with me. Look at this. It's 10.30 in the morning. They're almost already done. Like, that's insane. I'm just gonna get six. I still have some in my freezer. <laughs> we'll do 11. Yeah. Great news. The brown sugar creamer is back. I'm also getting this milk. Actually, I'll show you when we get home, but oh yeah, gotta get the everything, but oh, the dip wall. I haven't had this in so long, like so many years. I'm so happy to be here in the fall and have this back. This is obviously my favorite, but I'm stocked up right now. Well, look at all the fall spice chai. I love pumpkin biscuit. Yeah, no, this is cracked to me. Yeah, I recommend. Look at this butternut squash mac and cheese bites. Insane. Yeah. I'm gonna try this too. We got a couple new milks to try. So many people have said this to me on Instagram. I am so excited. I feel like I should get two. I'm probably gonna love it. So <laughs> okay, I think these are new. These dill pickle mini. Wait, what? Dill pickle falafels. Yeah, try. Look at this. Ten minutes later, they're gone. <laughs> Too left. I just love the fall energy here. Like you can feel it. There's a lot of orange. And we've done quite well. I think we're actually done. We're gonna go check out and then head to Target. Big success. Big success. big success. How much fun was that? It was wonderful. It's overwhelming though. There's like so much stuff to grab. But yeah, there's a so lot of cheap. stuff. I know. You end up leaving there like with a whole haul and it's really not like doing too much damage at all. No, nothing like cleaning grocery stores. Mm -hmm. And we were in and out quickly. Yeah. Thank God we got there earlier. Yeah, all the dumplings were different. gone. By the second lap of the store, the dumplings were gone. They were gone. I can't even believe it. I mean, they were like pretty, you know, picked over by the time we got there, but then but, gone. But like, they still had a decent amount. I mean, granted, you and I took a lot. So, like, <laughs> yeah. I think that was part of the But then there were just two left. Like insane. People know. They know. Anyways, now we're at Target. Target Off to the next. Time. Do I get these or I know, but like, maybe you should. No, Do you have I'm a green blanket right now? Three green do you have one that Look shade? How soft this is. You can't no. feel it, but it's I don't cute. Really need another blanket either, I have but three, in that shade. I have three green blankets in this shade. I'm not surprised. It's like it makes know. sense for you. I'm actually kind of impressed with what we have right now. I don't hate it. I know. I'm actually impressed. There's actual home decor here right now. Wait, is there anything on that side that's cute? Oh, they have like, see, I like the little random sticks. Do I get this? Maybe. I like that more than this. This one. That's a very own brand. Yeah. <laughs> that feels, that feels right to me. Do I get this little one? It's $10. No. No, that's too 
that's stupid. It's alright though. <laughs> okay, this is so random, but I just need. I saw this on, I think on TikTok. Definitely TikTok. They have all these fall scents and they just look so cute. So I'm getting these guys. Do I also get this? No, that's overboard. This is going to suffice. All of their Halloween stuff is out. Look at it all. I'm like, should I get some stuff? Am I going to full send Halloween? Or are we going to get like a subtle touch of Halloween? Probably more subtle. I don't think I need more white pumpkins. I have like a shit ton. This is my aesthetic, I guess. We did good. We did good, good. kids. We want to Olive Garden. But yeah, we're going to go to Olive Garden. My mom and I never have lunch that here. We always last minute decision. <laughs> get out. And then I was like... The breadsticks. The bread, the salad. I'm gonna <gasps> salad. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, the gnocchi salad is so. Oh no, the, the gnocchi, gnocchi soup is so good. It's chicken gnocchi. I haven't been in so long you can dip the breadsticks into the soup. That sounds sensational. I'm so excited. We've done so I'm well. Starving. This, that's why I keep grabbing stuff. So well. <laughs> We're going big. Ooh. Almost a condition. Almost an accident. Not the first one that almost happened. Stay no. Stay that but you know what? We're doing well. <laughs> Another success. It's been a long time. <laughs> they have a theme song. I think they like it's family here or something. Oh, <laughs> you're, when you're here, you're family. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been in an Olive I'm Garden. I'm ready to carve up. Yes, yeah. like we're gonna veg on the way back. Oh my god, I've known Olive Garden so long. I know this is gonna be so I feel good. Like this is peak, like crossing the border for the day. Going to Olive I agree. Breadsticks. Oh my god, they look juicy. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> Oh, fuck. The second it hit my tongue, this is crap. I'm so happy. I need to go it. No, we have to get the Alfredo sauce. Mm, you dip it in the Alfredo. Mm, this was a good call. I'm gonna put it on the top. It's literally like sugar. Yeah. No, it's like garlic bread. Mm. We got the salad. So excited. We also ordered fried mozzarella. Look how good that looks. Got more breadsticks. We already went through. And we're waiting for our soups. We got the same soup, the chicken gnocchi yeah. review. Okay, good. I'm like, now I'm nervous. This pure cream. We also did get a bowl of Alfredo sauce. A basket of breadsticks. Yeah, we gonna, this is a big meal. I'm loving it. First breadstick with Alfredo. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. You mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a great day. So we got busted. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, this entire trip of mine. No, we don't have to worry. Like we don't get pulled over. I've no, never been pulled over. And I said, well, what do we do? Like, what do we say? Well, guess what? You're with me. One time it happened. We get pulled over. It's not a big deal though. No. Okay. So I was really concerned because I've literally never been stopped going through the border back into Canada. Purpose. He goes, give me the declarant. Here goes. No. He goes. I, w I thought he was gonna. I thought he was talking about like alcohol and tobacco yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff. Just yeah. groceries. Um, like, no. Yeah, he goes. Well, you have to declare those. And we're like, oh, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, so this is like, what happens when you only go with your mom. Like you have no other yeah, experience. I was a little grumpy. Like as soon as we pulled up, I didn't get good vibes from him. I kind of figured yeah. he'd be the person to force us to pay. So to clarify though, we don't have to pay duty on everything. Yeah. Tax. They just want HST. It wasn't bad. It was thirty-five bucks each that we had to yeah, pay. We spent like three hundred and something dollars. Yeah, it really was not bad. I was really So literally, shocked. it's still cheaper to drive, go yeah. grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, <laughs> pay $35 in taxes, and then come back yeah. than it is to go grocery shopping. No, it was worth while. When he first gave us the yellow slip, I was like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? thought we were going to have to pay $100. Well, he was doing math on the slip, and I was like, that looks like I'm going to have to pay 130 bucks. But sure yeah. enough, it was just $35. Oh and it was actually really easy. Like it was very and fast. The guys were nice. They were nice in there. I like them. Why would you drive this far for groceries? And it turns out it's Trader Joe's. Yeah. Which also he was like, yeah, fair. Get it. I get it. It's Trader Joe's. But it's nice that now you can explain to people that you don't have to pay duty. Because yes. people are always like, don't you pay duty yeah. on that stuff? Because that would be a lot more money. So just be honest and say, also, never lie. You're the only never lie. crossing the border. I feel like they're bored. Yeah. You know? We're trying to like skip the traffic. So it's only 2.15. We'll be back around four. And yeah. overall, pretty Home, sweet home, it is 4.20. We started so early. 
I was actually so nervous I was gonna sleep in. I had a dream right before I woke up this morning that I had slept in past my alarm and Sarah had sent me an Uber and she'd be like, get your ass over here. And I thought that was so funny. So when I woke up, I was like, oh, gotta get out of bed. It is very rare that I see the sunrise, but sure enough, I saw it this morning. So it's been a long day, like it's 4.20 now, but it feels like it could be seven o'clock. I'm actually just so excited to be home for the rest of the night, have a cozy evening. I am not even slightly hungry. Like I can't even think about all the good stuff that I just got from Trader Joe's because I am full of breadsticks. I am full of them and Alfredo. And that was a really good move, loved it. So fun bouncing around with Sarah. And like also because it was one of her, it was really her first time ever truly shopping at Trader Joe's, not just like a little pop-in, like getting to look at everything. And also with all the fall stuff, even though she's not like a big fall person, you guys know me and my Trader Joe's, to get to go with somebody that hasn't really been is just so much fun for me. Getting to point out all my favorite things, like, oh, you should try this and that, and it's just so much fun. So we gotta do our haul. We will start with Trader Joe's, although I have like bags in other bags. I don't really know where everything is, but obviously, my soup dumplings had to get these i got i think six i meant to get one of my parents coolers before they went on their trip but naturally i forgot to ask them so thankfully i have this picnic basket that actually has a cooler on the inside and i brought it with me nice i still have some soup dumplings from our last trip so i didn't need to go too crazy i also don't have access to my parents freezer at the moment so i have to be mindful of what i can actually get and then i got the pumpkin ravioli thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling I am so excited for this. I tried to get as many fall things as possible. Dill pickled mini falafel. That seems just really good. Got two of the shredded unexpected cheddar. My favorite cheese, it actually kind of lasts a while in the fridge. Like this says it will be good until January 20th. So when I get two bags, I know I'll be able to get through it. And then I got these crushed garlic cubes. They don't really sell us, at least last I've checked, they don't sell us anymore here. So I like to get them from Trader Joe's whenever we go. They're just really convenient to pop into recipes. Next bag we have, I got this pasta. It is black and orange. Like it's very fall Halloween. I'm very excited to try making something with that. Oh, 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 okay. This I'm really excited about. The petite pumpkin spice cookies. Shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. When I was younger, I loved the, I think they were like animal crackers, but covered in the yogurt, like the pink and white sprinkled ones. That was my favorite snack. Like I can still visualize myself as a kid eating those, living for it. This feels like that, but pumpkin. I mean, so cute. I, I couldn't resist. I got more of the fig and olive crisps. I love these. I saw this that I've never seen before. Truffle glaze. Very excited. And then to top that, the truffle ranch. Are you kidding me? This is me. Literally a couple days after my mom and I went at the beginning of September, this came out and everyone was DMing it to me on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, I missed this by days. The first ingredient is canola oil. Like this is not going to be the healthiest of healthy, but you know what? Not everything needs to be perfect. Sometimes you gotta just enjoy. Uh, then we got autumn harvest creamy pasta sauce. It has pumpkin and butternut squash. I feel like this is gonna be so good. Like fall in a sauce. If my pasta or the ravioli that I got, that's gonna be a lot of pumpkin, but it's gonna be perfect. This week is very hot. Like today felt full summer. Like I was hot walking around like this, you know, like very hot out, which is kind of nice. Like we're gonna have four or five days of this kind of heat and then it's going right down to the 50s and rain. Like Friday's gonna be raining. It's gonna be kind of nice. Um, excited, but I am enjoying this last little burst of summer before it is officially over. I got these coffees, these pumpkin spice lattes. So I had to try these in the morning. I also did get two chili onion crunch. Always gotta have a backup. It's very, very important. And lastly in this bag, oh my God, I forgot. I got the vanilla pumpkin candle. I feel like people rave about Trader Joe's candles. Actually, Kaya had given me some for the holidays last year and they were so good, but I feel like somebody recently told me that this one was insane and it smelled really good. So I had to get one of those. Two more bags of Trader Joe's. Let's see. Okay, this I'm so excited about. Look at the pasta. They look like little pumpkins. I'm so excited. Like this is gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so fun. I was looking for the pumpkin gnocchi, but I could not find it. This I almost think is better. It looks way cuter. And imagine the sauce inside of like the pasta, the little holes. It's gonna be incredible. And then I got ramen. It's the spicy miso ramen. It's really great for like a little snacky snack. I love it. Two more drinks. I actually got these matchas. Very excited to try these. I feel like I haven't had a matcha in a while. And then I got the non-dairy pumpkin oat 
beverage. I actually got two milks. Also, very sad news. For those of you that haven't heard the devastating news, Trader Joe's did in fact discontinue the blueberry lavender milk that I used to be obsessed with. I still have some that are in my freezer now, so I still have some, but sad times because I was truly obsessed. Like I mixed it with matcha and it was amazing. Not good in coffee, didn't enjoy that, but in my matchas, they were so good. Sad that they discontinued, but we have the pumpkin one for the fall season, as well as, is it in here? We got the maple one. This looks so cute, eh? Non-dairy oat beverage, maple flavored with vitamins A, D, and B12. I'm excited to try this. I feel like maple flavors are gonna be more up my alley than pumpkin. Like I've never really cared that much for the pumpkin flavors, but I've grown to enjoy. After I got that pumpkin spice uh, whipped cream last time I was at Target, like this guy, I love this. Whenever I'm craving something sweet, but I don't really like have a lot of sweets here right now, I just spray a little bit of this into my mouth and it's, Perfect, like the perfect little sweet treat. And I've really grown to enjoy it. I mean, I liked it right off the bat, but you know. Anyways, the butternut squash mac and cheese from Trader Joe's, this like brings me back. I remember the first time I had it and I was in my house and I was like, this is insane. I didn't know it was seasonal at the time because I didn't really know that much about Trader Joe's. I've now, you know, come to learn a lot. Got another gnocchi. This is insane. If you have Trader Joe's near you, you have to try. Oh, there's one more thing. I also got more boba, but I can take all of this out and I can just put the packets in there to save space. Just these packets of boba with brown sugar syrup and it is so good. Okay, the freezer closed, we're good. I also did in fact get the brown sugar creamer. They had it there, I was concerned. I didn't think they would actually discontinue it because it's very popular, but when it wasn't there last time, I was a little concerned. Anyways, we're good, it's there. As for Target, I got some decor, I got some food. Usually I have like a really hard time at that Target. If you guys watched the last Buffalo vlog, the Target was sucking. It was bad, 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 bad. It was not so bad today. Surprisingly enough, like we only have to go to the one Target. Starting off with the purchase I definitely did not need to buy, the blanket. I did not need this. As we all know, I have a new blanket that I got from Anthropology. But this one is like, I just loved the texture of it, the knit, like I just think it's gonna look so nice. I love this one, it was like 35 bucks, you know? I really couldn't help myself. Then I got this little branch. Oh, now I'm thinking I maybe should have gotten two of them. That's okay. Very fall. I got this vase. I really like this. So nice. Like it looks good. It was $35. So that kind of adds up actually. But it looks like something I would find at Zara Home. I definitely should have gotten more of these. If I have like a few of them, that would look nice. Either way, this is something I can use for all the seasons. I just change out the branches. So I like that a lot. And then switching it up, we're going to uh, some food drink stuff. I got the skinny chai latte. I kind of want to try making the pumpkin chai at home. Like the Starbucks one that I'm obsessed with but just a little healthier because there's a fuck ton of sugar in that drink that I want to try making it at home. I've tried both the skinny chai latte and the regular one of these and I find that they taste pretty much the exact same. This is just less sugar. And then I got some bedtime tea. This is my favorite brand. I just like the little things that they have on the tea bags, the little words of wisdom. Sarah and I also both got these Epsom salts melatonin sleep scrub with essential oils. Dr. Teal's is the brand that I use for my bubbles and my salts, but I've never seen this before. So we got this, which I think is going to be great. A nice sleep scrub before bed. Continuing on the drink journey. I got kind of a lot of stuff. I got more of this brown sugar oat creamer because this is a lot bigger than the Trader Joe's ones. It tastes pretty much the same. This is more bang for the buck and I just wanted to have both. But then I also got creme brulee creamer. See, in Canada, the flavors, we don't have the biggest selection. We don't get all of the same flavors that, you know, is available in the US. I think just because of the ingredients. But you know, I do love the creme brulee. It's one of my all time favorite desserts. And I feel like I am going to love this. So I'm really excited to try. I also got more whipped cream from the same brand. Um, but this is maple vanilla. Yum. I've been putting it on my coffee. It's just been an enjoyable little start to the day. Just a little spray, a little spritz, you know? It just brings me joy. Then I got four Celsius, these are the watermelon, sparkling watermelon. I love them, it's my favorite flavor. I can only drink half because I've discovered if I drink a full one, I get hella jittery. But you can't buy this in Canada. So we got some. And then I got these poppies. I've never tried poppy, but the branding is so cute. So I got two, I got the strawberry lemon and then the raspberry rose. They are prebiotic sodas, so good for the gut. Want to try those? Another bag. Oh yes, I did get more pumpkins. I know I have a lot of pumpkins, but to be honest, I feel like I still don't have enough. So I got this guy. I think, you know, cute, neutral. It is the right vibe. And I also got this one. I feel like by the end of this week, when the cold and the rain comes in, that's when we're gonna full send the decor, like full send. And then I got this little guy. I think there's one more bag. Here she is, the final 
Target bag. I was thinking about it when we were leaving, like, oh, there's one in that bag. So there's two, technically. The next time I go, it's gonna be for the like, Christmas decor and like Christmas treats at Trader Joe's. Oh, yay! Ah, oh, my new dish soap and my hand soap. I need to get new dish soap anyways, so it's kind of perfect. Honestly, I really like the packaging that they have. It is possible that this scent is available here. I've just never seen it. So please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Then I got my usual wraps. I still have some in the fridge, but you know, they last a long time. And last, but certainly not least, I got this. I thought it was cool. I've actually seen it on the website for months and I've really liked it. I've just never seen it in stores. Do I know where it's going? No, but I'm thinking probably my office. I think that's it. That was one hell of a haul. It was a great trip. That was a great trip today. So fun. I'm so excited to get in bed early. I'm gonna be tired. You know when you're concerned about missing your alarm in the morning, so you just like wake up through the night multiple times? That was me. Sarah's very punctual, and with my very punctual friends, I never wanna be the late friend. So I was so concerned that I was gonna miss my alarm that I even went as far to dream about it. It was a whole dream about how I kept sleeping in, and I missed my alarm, and then it was a whole thing. So. I was obviously very concerned about missing my alarm, but because of that, I didn't sleep very well. So it's gonna be such a good sleep with all these new things. Such a good day. 10, 10 day, 10, 10 vibes. It's actually kind of crazy. Like I, this time last year, I did not know Sarah. And now she's one of my like favorite closest friends. And I'm very grateful for it. You know, like as an adult, it's very hard to find friends that you connect with. And like, where do you even meet these people? <laughs> and then suddenly like build a close friendship. I feel like just building new friendships is hard as an adult. So I'm very grateful for her friendship. All this to say, for anybody that has any thoughts, re-female friendships or friendships in general, you are never too old to make a new, really close friend. And I think it's such a beautiful thing. Anyways, I'm gonna put all this in the fridge. I'm gonna organize the fridge, make it look all nice, perfect for a Monday. And then I'm gonna sit on the couch and finish my book because I, I had to hold back from finishing it last night. I have like an hour left and I was like, I need to go to sleep. I cannot stay up late tonight and read this because I need to like wake up early. It's so good. I'm gonna be so upset when it's over and like I don't get to sit down with these characters anymore. I'm going to be sad, but I gotta finish it. Like I'm so excited. <laughs> It is now 7.15, I've been here. I got into my pajamas and then I intended to bring my book downstairs, but instead I brought my laptop downstairs and I got a little bit of work done and then my book was still upstairs. So now I'm here. I've been here since we last spoke. I have my blanket that I want to set up on my couch. And then I'm gonna make, I think, soup dumplings. I was trying to think of what I wanna eat. I'm not even really hungry. And the soup dumplings are kind of like a snack. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. Really stuffed my face with olive garden. So I'm just not hungry, but I don't wanna not eat. Anyways, I think I'm gonna bring this actually up into my office and put it on my black chair just for the time being. When winter rolls itself around, I think we're gonna have all of the blankets on the couch. But for now, I just wanna see my new one. I just feel like it's gonna look so cute. I love it. The cozy knit texture is just so nice. My kitchen is also a mess. It's a mess. But I tell you, I'm not gonna do anything about it today. I'm simply not. My legs and my ass hurt. My spin class yesterday was so hard. And then walking over five miles home, after the hour long spin class, tough. Tough, but I loved it, like it was great. But things are just hurting and I have my run tomorrow. Week three of my eight week program is tomorrow. I can't even believe it actually, that I'm three weeks into eight weeks. That's very cool. Well, I'm not three weeks in yet. Week three starts tomorrow, my two runs, and then we're halfway through. This is incredible. Also, the amount of people that have sent me, <laughs> sent me or like tagged me in this one video, or actually there's a few different videos of the same thing. It's the soup dumplings in a soup, like in a broth. So many people have been like, you have to try this. I did in fact try it one time and I did enjoy it, but I kind of like it the way that I make it better. I liked having the soup because you get like more soup with dumplings, but then you can just throw other dumplings in there. Like you don't need them to be soup dumplings. Kind of like this just being like, you know, the soupy dumpling, with the crunchy chili and a crunch on top, some soy sauce, and that's it like it's very simple but you know both delicious I just prefer this way but I do love that everybody knows that this is my shit I mean I feel like that's very obvious the obsession has been around for a while now anyways I haven't actually had these in a while so I'm excited it's like the perfect light dinner after a heavy Olive Garden lunch
my soup dumplings. I ended up doing my dishes while I waited for these to cool. So the kitchen doesn't look as bad now. It looked okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is perfect. Feeling good about the stock up I have in the freezer right now, too. I still have more at my parents' house. Definitely solid. These are just such a little treat. Like, I feel like today was a big treat day. I like to live my life in moderation. You know, if you try to be too healthy all the time, like, that's boring. Boring. Couldn't be me. No. Mmm. Actually, talking about treats, I think I'm gonna have to have a little dessert, and that dessert is gonna have to be the animal cracker thing. I'm just gonna have a little, uh, oh, gonna have a couple of those. I have to try them. Like, I have to try them. I'm excited to try all my coffee things tomorrow morning, like the maple. Oh my god. The maple whipped cream. I tried it when I was doing my haul for TikTok. That is insane. This is insane. So that's going in the coffee tomorrow morning. I'm like, do I try the creme brulee? So many good options. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be a good morning. And tomorrow's gonna be a good day. I am vlogging tomorrow, so we'll see all of that in the next vlog. Mm. Okay, I grabbed my book from upstairs. I am gonna be so sad to finish this. Oh, I like this book so much more than I expected to. Like so much more. It's actually kind of nice talking about this and seeing the comments about how a lot of you expected the same thing because the second book was just slow. Like it was not nearly as good as the first book. And this book, like a million times better. It has blown me away. The 600 pages have flown by. I thought I was gonna be on this book for like a couple full weeks, but I think this is like four sittings, maybe five, uh, I don't know. Either way, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm gonna be so sad because I'm so invested in these people right now. 90%, uh, I have an hour and four minutes left of the book. And I feel like this last 10% is gonna be so good and my heart is gonna feel so warm. I love them, I love them. I'm diving in. just remembered last night <laughs> while I was reading this. I wanna talk about this without giving spoilers. Okay, for those of you that have read this book, I was reading the part where they go to dinner, like Lucian goes to dinner with his mother, and then she is a surprise guest at the dinner as well. When I figured out who the guest was, Oh my God, I was like, no. And I reread the page like three different times because I was like, that's crazy. I just didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Anyways, we have to talk about it in the comments because the craziness. I love this book. I love this book. 94%. We're taking a snack break. That was a beautiful chapter. <laughs> chapter 45. I loved it. Oh, I loved it. It's just wonderful. Wonderful. I'm so excited to try these. I really hope they're living up to what I'm imagining them to be. Oh my goodness. They're little pumpkins. That is so cute. Yeah. Mmm. They're amazing. They don't taste like shortbread. It kind of tastes like gingerbread. Delicious. And back to my book. Can you see the fresh tears? on my face. I just finished the book. It was so good. It was a beautiful ending. I loved it so much. That was a great book. That was a great series. The second book could have been better, but you know what? All in all, I loved it. I loved the whole world. <sighs> I'm so sad. Now I'm gonna make my tea and I'm gonna go to bed. It's like nine o'clock. <laughs> I am in fact so sad that I don't get to like go in bed and read more about their story. I'm so sad. That was so good. It really ended the series on such a good note. It concluded all of their stories. Like it just, it wrapped it up so nicely. 10-10, recommend. Now I gotta find another book to read. I know the next romance I'm gonna read, but with the books that I really love, like the one that I just read, there's no way I could read another romance after that. I'm way too attached to those characters to even dare attempt to like other characters in another love story, like not for me. So that's why I always alternate between reading romance and a thriller. So I gotta find a thriller. Actually, I think I just downloaded one. A safe and reliable option would be to read Afraid of McFadden. I fly through her books, but I've read almost all of them at this point. I don't really want to run out, but I think she just came out with a new one called The Coworkers. Maybe I'll download that. Sarah and I were also talking in the car about how Sarah also has like an e-reader. She uses a Kobo, but she also buys the hard copy of books because she likes to have the visual representation of all the books she's gone through. And now I kind of want to buy the hard copies of all of these books. Is that crazy? Like that's probably a little crazy, but like I want to build a 
little library somewhere in here. Like in theory, I could make the guest bedroom upstairs like full library vibes with a bed. If you guys watch Hailey Pham, I saw that she had this insane library built in her house. So I'm kind of thinking like maybe that vibe or even I have a closet in, in the basement. Right now I just have suitcases in it and empty bins and it's kind of like a decent space. It's not the crawl space, but part of me is like, what if I make that into like a cool book room, like a book nook, a book nook. I like that and I like the way that sounds. But that would require me buying all of these books that I've read, but like to have them all there and be surrounded by all my books, like I would love that. Who, like the fact that I'm even saying this is so whack. Beginning of 2022 when I said I wanted to become a reader and I bought my Kindle on a whim and bought like the highest of storage, people were like, no way, no chance she's sticking to that. Look at me now. This is my favorite hobby. It's truly my favorite thing. Anyways, I'm gonna brush my teeth, finish getting ready for bed. And we're gonna pick a new book. Okay, so let me see what I downloaded. Oh yeah, Local Woman Missing. Actually, a subscriber told me to read this and she has, and she followed up twice. She said it's so good, I'm gonna read it. So shout out to you, I'm reading it. Here we go. Diving in, I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm just gonna cozy up. It's going to be an early night for me. But I'm actually gonna wake up early tomorrow and maybe start like a 7.30 a.m. wake up call instead of the 8 a.m. I've been doing lately. Push it back 30 minutes, 30 more minutes of the day. Why not? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I feel like we had a lot more fall in this one versus the last one. We were, you know, literally like three days too early. But that's okay because honestly, anytime we get to go is always a great day. But we got all the fall vibes despite the weather today, like full summer outside, but all the fall goods. And that's really what matters most. Let me know if there's anything that I missed at Trader Joe's that you think I should have gotten fall items wise. Let me know. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back in another month. <laughs> Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching the vlog as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.